I'm Richard Levine from the Entomological Society of America here at the Entomology Department of the University of Florida with Holly and I'm about to feed the bed bugs. And these are adult bed bugs. If you want to zoom in, you guys can come over here. And these are newly emerged adult bed bugs that I've never fed before. And so you don't feel them much, do you? I mean, I felt something, but you some people feel it and some people don't. Hmm. And so they're all going to line up. Oh yeah. They're they're, the they're all going to. Well, some of them are, but there's other ones underneath the sheet of paper. What I should have done is take the sheet of paper out just so you can see it. Um, but they're going to feed along the surface of the mesh that's actually touching your skin. Yeah, I can see them at the top there, mm -hmm. closer to you. Mm-hmm. And they're under the paper now. Yeah. So how many are in that now, cage? This a is, dozen? This is probably 30 to 40 Great. inside there. So what is this going to look like tomorrow on me? Depends. Some people don't even have a reaction. Um, and you said you've been bit before? I have. It was like a real bad mosquito bite. Oh, okay. Bites. I had so then you have, dozen. you have bites. So then mm. you will have a reaction. All oh, right. Some people don't have a reaction at all, though. Some get, like, pustules. And... I've read that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And But you can develop the allergies, right? So you can start. Yes. And then after a while. You can start the first time. That's why I was asking if you've been bitten, bitten mm -hmm. before. If you've never been bitten before, some people don't even show a reaction until the second or third time they're getting bitten. And then they'll start developing reactions, like you were saying. They'll get little red marks that look like mosquito bites. Some people have more pustules, like blisters. Mm -hmm. It depends on the sever severity of the reaction. And can you get some shots of the chickens, too, there? Mm -hmm. So these are chickens that, that are uh, normally used to feed the bed bugs. Yeah. Have you been bit before? I On purpose? Yes, I've done it before, just to see. and. Yeah. I didn't develop a reaction the first time, but the second time I did. So how long do they keep this thing on for? I give them 15 minutes. Um, it actually only takes between 5 and 10 minutes to fully engorge once really? they start feeding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just that I want to make sure that by the time they actually find the blood meal, yeah. that they get enough time to fully engorge so you can see them fully after I move, move the container away. Wow. It's been 5 minutes. Wow. Have you ever smelled the colony, the bedbug colonies? I haven't. I heard they... I've heard they smelled like very um, distinct. What what would you describe it like? Uh, well, actually, you can actually bend down a little bit and then smell. Yeah. It. What would you tell people? Like, what, what, what um, would... It's like a musky. Yeah, there's a musty smell, and then they they also have you, a. You can say what you think. It's kind of it musty. Doesn't, doesn't smell bad, I guess. It's not bad. It's almost like a iron musty smell. Yeah. yeah. Like what? They also like if you disturb them, they'll release this like alarm ah. pheromone. pheromone. It wow. smells sweet. Wow, so, oh my god, so those, I don't know if you can see it on... Oh yeah, yeah you can. can see it. You, so you get a reaction, you can see where they've been. Wow, that's a lot. How many bites do you think I've got? Maybe that must be um, four well, dozen, I bet. Must be. Yeah, you could probably say at least 30. 